friends, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup using my all time 2018 favorite products. So I've tried my best to just keep it at one product per step. Um, the only thing that I had trouble with was bronzer, blush, and foundation, because uh, maybe a few more, because I actually have quite a few favorites, but I thought in today's video, I'm gonna share all of those with you. So if you need some new products or anything, then these are my personal favorites. So you can trust them. I mean, I can trust them with my life, so I'm sure you can trust them too. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm gonna talk about brushes as well, because I have some incredible brushes that I need to recommend to you guys. So the first one is this eyebrow brush here. This one is from Morphe. It is the E23, so it is an angled brush on one side and then a spoolie on the other end. So, um, oh, by the way, that brush cleaner is the Artiste um, brush cleaner. I'm pretty sure this is from Priceline. Michael showed me this one, I really like it. I'm sure you guys know this, and I'm sure there's a few other products in here that I've used a few times that you would be able to recognize, but my favorite brow product, and it has been for probably two years now, this is the Benefit Brow Zings palette. This is called the Total Tamian Shaping Kit for Brows, and I use the shade 3. So this one has one side with a waxy formula and then one side with a powder formula. So if I'm doing full glam, I'll go in with the powder as well. But if I'm just doing like an everyday look, I don't know why, but I just like to go in with the wax. I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural, and then the powder defines it a little bit more. So I always start with the waxy side just to kind of brush my hairs into the right direction and stuff. And also, like, it's colored, so it... It just works like the powder, just like less intense, like not as harsh, you know what I mean? So I always start by creating a little bit of an arch because I got my brows tattooed on and the arch is like starting to fade a little bit. So if I don't do the arch, my brows are way too straight. So let's do this. I literally haven't done full glam since my last video. Ever since I've had like lash extensions on, I just find it so hard to like do eyeshadow. Because you can't put strip lashes on top, but um, they're nearly off, so I'm going to put lashes on. If you guys want, you should totally leave your favorite makeup artist in the comments below so I can go check them out and I'll start practicing some cool looks. Okay, so now going in with the powdery side, I'm just going to go over the top of that. Anyways, let's go ahead and carve out the brows. This is my favorite brush to carve out the brows with. It's from Morphe. It is the M432 brush. Wow, I should really be getting a discount code so I can get some commission. <laughs> totally kidding. Um, I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. We'll get to the concealer in a second. But I'm just putting that on the back of my little brow thing, hell no. And then we're gonna go and carve it. So I always start from the front of the brow and pretty much just through a straight line, but actually no, I kind of like arch it up here so I have a little bit more shape. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like this one's a little bit more lifted because I've taken it up in this area right here. Now just going in with a Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. This one's incredible for blending out the concealer on the lid. I'm just going to go in and blend out all that concealer to cancel out any discoloration. Um, I always make sure to get right in there on my inner corner because I have a lot of purple tones like right in here. I'm going to blend it out nice and far out here. I'm just going in with a touch of translucent powder just to set the crease. It's the only area I want to set there just so we can blend out all the other colors easy. Okay, so for my favorite palette, I had to narrow it down to one. So if I was to like go away traveling or if I was just to use one palette, this is the one that I would lean towards. This one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So the reason why I like this one is because there's so many different looks you could make because there's so many different colors. I absolutely love all of these blues and like emerald greens down here. And then you've got all of the warm tone shadows. You've got a few cool tone shadows as well. But I especially love like all of these shades here and this like orangey red color. It's so pretty. But today I'm just going to do something that I would wear on like a night out, like super full glam. So I think I'm gonna do something like really bronzy. So that's my favorite look to do. Um, the first color that I'm going to take is 
I'm gonna go in with this one here on a blending brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in my crease right here and then start blending it in windshield wiper motions. See, this just blends out so beautifully. I'm obsessed with the formula of this palette. It's insane. I honestly forgot how much I miss playing around with makeup. I think when I get back from my next work trip, um, I'm gonna take my lashes off so I can film more makeup videos. This is so fun. It's just like so peaceful and therapeutic. I'm sure you guys can relate because I feel like when you're like doing makeup, it's just so relaxed. As long as you're not rushed, then it's a problem. All right, so all the edges are blended. Everything seems pretty even. And we can go with the next color. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna take is this one right here. Oh my God, I just jabbed my nail in it. No! I actually haven't used this particular shade before, but I really think it's stunning. I'm gonna pop this in my crease and we're gonna deepen it up a bit. So I start by just like blending it onto the eye and then after I'll kind of like pat it on to get it a little bit more pigmented. Just makes the blending process so much easier. And then I'm just gonna go in with that previous shade, that blending shade that I used at the start and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Oh wait, did I tell you what this brush was? This one is the 228 Luxe Crease Brush, the one I use the dark shade with. And then this was the Luxe Crease Brush 228. Oh, they're the same brushes. This one's just fluffier because I've used it more. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna take is this chocolate brown down here. And I'm just gonna use this to deepen up the crease even more. So I'm just gonna put it on the outer half of the crease and also the outer half of my lid. So I'll just start by packing it on here. And this brush is the 227 by Zoeva. I love their eyeshadow brushes so much. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a lid color and I'm just using the MAC Fix Plus. This stuff is incredible if you wanna make the eyeshadow look more foiled. So I'm gonna go in with this beautiful bronzy gold shade right down here. And then I'm just gonna pack this on. I'm just gonna pat over the edges so the brown and the gold are blended together. Just so there's no harsh line. Now for the lashes. So, oh my God, everyone picks me for saying lashes, lashes. Now for the lashes, <laughs> I'm going in with the Bespoke Lashes or the Lily Lashes. These are my two favorite brands at the moment. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with these ones from Bespoke Lashes. These ones are in the style Kirby. They're so pretty. I just realized my Eyelash cutters got taken off me at the airport, so I don't know what to cut them with. Shit. Yes, I have spare ones. <laughs> While that glue is drying, by the way, I use the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. This is a black one. It is so good. Lashes don't move at all. I'm just going to do my mascara. So the mascara that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara. I've been using this since Kylie, uh, sorry, Carly Bible recommended this years ago. Um, I've gone through a million tubes, so I'm just going to put this on my lashes just to make them really black so it blends in with the falsies. So I'm just going to look straight down into my little mirror. I feel like this is the easiest way to apply them. And then I grab it by the end of the lash and I just pop it as close as I possibly can to that lash line. And then I like to pinch the two together. Now it is time for the face. So I'm going to go in with the Essential Skin Primer by Kevin Aquan. I personally don't really get too fussed over primers. Um, I don't know. As long as it's really hydrating, that's really all I care about because my skin is super, super dry. So I've already done all my skincare and then I'm just going to pop this all over my face. Just so we have a nice base when I put my foundation on. Now for the foundation, I have a bunch of foundations that I really love. Oh my God, these feel like birds on my lashes, on my eyes, that's so weird. Um, I'm gonna go with the Hourglass Vanish Stick today just because I really love the finish of it, especially when my skin's super dry. And I also love the color of this one. But we also have the Clinique Beyond Perfect, <laughs> the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This one is amazing. And also the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour matte foundation. This one's really good if you have oily skin or if you're like out in the 
humidity and your foundation is gonna sweat off because it lasts really well. But as I said, my skin is super dry, so we're gonna go on with this one today. This one's in the shade Warm Beige. I'm just gonna start painting this all over my face. I think another reason why I haven't been doing like makeup videos is because my skin's been so bad. I just, ugh, it's just so annoying, but um, I think I know what triggers it now. I think it's dairy. Because when I went away to Bali, I didn't have any dairy and my fucking face legit didn't have one pimple on it, not one. And I was like, what? Mm. I actually lost my voice when I went to Sam Smith. <laughs> I watched him perform in Brisbane with Chloe, which was so amazing. But I literally was screaming the whole time and every time I'd scream, my voice would fully cut out. By the way, this brush is the 104 Buffer brush by Zoeva. So I pretty much just use Zoeva and um, Morphe. Gotta make sure your face is very moisturized before using this foundation, by the way, otherwise it will look very patchy. Okay, so moving on to the concealer, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Beige. I absolutely love this concealer so much. I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eye so we can give a bit of a defi uh, not definition, wet, a bit of, um, I like using this shade because it like brightens under there, but not too much where it's like stark white. I'm also gonna do this down my nose, on my chin. And I'm taking my Handy Beauty Blender. This is the best thing in the world when it comes to makeup. I absolutely adore it. So I'm just gonna pat over this to blend it out. Also, I'll bring it in between my brows a bit too. Just to lighten that. And then I'm just gonna, oh, I got concealer on my eyelash. That's actually a problem and a half, let me tell you right now. Oh. Let's move on to the powder for underneath the eyes. So I'm going in with the La Prairie Cellular Treatment Loose Powder. This is hands down the best translucent powder I've ever tried. And let me tell you, I have tried a lot. It's very expensive, but honestly, I, I have had this for a while and I feel like you can't even tell that I've used any of it. It just lasts so long. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just get a little bit and then just pop this directly under my eyes so the um, concealer doesn't crease at all. It just literally absorbs right into the skin like you don't even need to brush it away. It's so amazing. I'm also going to set my laugh lines just here as well. Now for literally the best powder in the world for the whole entire face. This is the Australis um, Fresh and Flawless Press, Press Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. This honestly just adds the most perfect amount of coverage. It doesn't look cakey. It makes the face nice and matte. And if I go clubbing and I have like pimples showing because I'm like too drunk and like I've somehow wrapped my makeup off, this just like literally makes my face look brand new. Like I'll just pop a bit of this on and it's like, oh, the pimples are gone, thinking you. Now it's time for the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go on with the dark chocolate brown shade and I'm gonna take that uh, really close to my lash line and with a little pencil brush. This brush is the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. This one's super small. So we're gonna have a lot of control over this product. I might actually just take this halfway because I don't wanna make my eyes look even smaller. Okay, so then with a bigger pencil brush, this one's a Luxe Petite Crease. This one's a little bit fluffier. It is the 331. I'm just gonna go with that crease color, that nice warm tone, and I'm gonna take this slightly underneath that dark brown shade and then all the way in here. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna take is this one right here, and I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corner and also my brow bone. So I'm gonna take, what brush is this? Oh, I don't know the brand. This is what it looks like here. I'm just gonna take that one and I'm gonna pop this right in the inner corner to bring some light there. Wow, that's so big. My chair keeps speaking and I'm over it. And then I'm just gonna put this on the highest points of my brow bone. I really, really wanna set the brows right now. Like I honestly can't wait any longer. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is a clear brow gel. It is the best brow gel I've ever used. They stay in place. The brush is amazing. It separates all of those little hairs. So I'm just going to push them directly upwards. I kinda need to trim my brows. They're super long right now. Oh my God, this is incredible. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner. 
I don't use this as a lip liner. I use it as a eyeliner for the waterline, and it's so good. Um, I actually saw this from Michael, so hopefully he doesn't want it back. <laughs> I'm just going to line from outer corner to inner corner. Oh, it just opens the eyes up so much. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to the bronzer. Literally one of my favorite things. Um, this is the MAC Refined Golden Bronzing Powder. I absolutely love this so much. It has little shimmers in there. It's nice and bronzy. It makes the face look glowy, but not muddy, which is amazing. The brush that I like to apply it with is the MAC 108. This is an angled brush. It's nice and fluffy. It's incredible because you have control over all the bronzer. So I like to start from back here under my cheekbones and I like to just swirl it uh, closer to the cheeks because I want my cheeks to be bronzy as well. I don't like to take it too far down here. I like to just keep it nice and high up here. I have very defined cheekbones so I usually have to be super light with um, like contouring so I pretty much was just like I'm not going to contour anymore because every time I did it just looks so muddy because my cheekbones are naturally super defined so I just stick to bronzer. I'm also gonna do under my jawbone. Even though you can already see it perfectly fine, just wanna make it a little bit more defined. And I'm just gonna pop this around my hairline and I'm gonna blend it into my hair. The other day I was taking photos and I was looking back at them and you could literally see where the foundation stopped. It was not cute. Actually, I'll just insert it right here. Fine, right? I'm sure you guys know as well, I'm completely obsessed with the MAC Give Me Sun. I probably love them just as much. This one, I would say, is a little bit more wearable. The other one's like a bit deeper. Um, but I've been using this for so many years. I just put way too much on. Um, so I thought I'd change it up a little bit because that's just like so dramatic. If you ever bring your um, bronzer down too far, you can just go in with your powder and just like take that underneath the contour here. What I like to do, haven't done it in a while. Otherwise, you can just bake. Two of my favorite blushes at the moment are both from MAC. We have the shade Melba, which is just like a beautiful universal shade. Looks like this. I love it. It just works with every single makeup look. And then we also have this shade here called Margin. This one's more of like a corally shade and it has like gold... It has just like shimmery reflex in there. It's super stunning. So if I want to glow a lot, I'll use this one. And then if I have a lot going on, I'll just go in with this. It's kind of more pink, isn't it? Yeah. Today, I'm going to go in with this one in the shade of margin just because I want to glow. This one is so pretty. Oh, the brush that I use is the Morphe M530. It is so good for the cheeks because it is just the right size. I've been obsessed with blush lately. I've just been like putting way too much on it. So great. This has been a favorite of mine for such a long time. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I like to apply this before I apply my highlight just so it has something to stick to. Even though the one that I'm about to share with you, you don't need anything underneath it. I just feel like this product kind of absorbs any like excess powder or anything like that. So that's why I like to pop that on. My favorite highlighter at the moment isn't even mine. I literally stole this from Michael's house. This is by Dull Beauty. It's called the Pretty Little Glow. It is such a nice shade. It's like a champagne peachy shade. Holy crap, I can't believe how bad my voice is right now. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take the Anastasia A23 brush. This one is hands down the best highlighter brush in the world. Like, there's not one other brush that I love more than this one. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to pop this on the highest points of my cheeks. Oh. This makes me emotional. I love highlights so much. Look at that. Wow. My all time favorite lip liner is from MAC. This one's in the shade Strip Down. It's just one of those lip liners that you can trust with every single nude shade. So I'm just gonna overline my lips slightly even though everyone has a problem with me overlining my lips because they look fake, like I don't care. I've got filler in there, so they are fake, so yeah. My favorite liquid lipsticks of the year, oh my God, I've literally been using this like religiously. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Girlfriend. It is the perfect nude. I wear it pretty much every single time I have a nude lip on just because 
it lasts so long, especially when I go clubbing, this lasts a really long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this all over. It smells really good too. Okay, so I have my dress on and I realized I literally, like my head looks the size like of a pea. And this looks really large because of the cut of the top, but I don't really care. Anyway, so I'm going to take a little bit of the KKW by Kylie Cosmetics Cream Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kimberly. Oh, that was my stomach. Um, I usually just like to have a bit of an ombre lip. That was my stomach again. Wow. And then I'm just going to pat over it here. The other thing that I like to do is go in with some highlight and just pop this on like my collarbones and also... On my shoulders up here. Okay guys, so here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how it's turned out. This is literally hands down my favorite makeup products. Wow, we can't really see my bun, it's really disturbing me. This is like my favorite makeup products of the year. I am completely obsessed with all of this stuff. When I go traveling, this is all I take and I wouldn't replace it with anything else because everything works so perfectly. I love how my face looks right now, wow. Anyways, I will leave everything listed down below if you want to check anything out. I love you all so incredibly much. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. P.S. I look like, like my hands look amazing today. Look at this. Like usually my hands look ratchet AF, but they just look so good. Wow. Okay, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.